Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Samantha. This is the Budget Mum UK and today I'm going to be switching up all of my binders, showing you some of the new saving challenges that I've got and yeah, pulling everything together, getting a bit more organised and showing you what's going on. Come on in. Hi everyone, my name is Samantha. I'm a mum to two children, a 14 year old and a two year old. And I recently quit my full time teaching job to go part time, set up my own tutoring business and do lots of little side hustles as well. It means I've really got to stick to quite a strict budget because that's also going to help me get rid of my last £5,000 worth of debt. So this is my journey on how I'm going to do that. If you think it's something of interest to you, something that you would like to follow me on, I would absolutely love it if you would consider if you would consider subscribing and if you're already subscribed then of course you'll already know how much i love you and thank you so much i really appreciate it so um before i begin this video this is sort of a follow-up because the other day i did already put up on one of my savings challenges videos and i had to quickly take it down because i realized somebody kindly messaged me and said you know you your address was showing on one of the letters so i had to remove it quite quickly so what i'll do is i will go through my um files again going through my binders and as i get to those new challenges which they're all in here anyway um i'll introduce you a little bit more talk you through those talk you through some of the things that i'm doing and talk to you about some of the new uh, challenges i've got off other creators as well so first things first i just want to have a quick flip through my sinking fund well this is i call this my sinking funds it's actually my fluid envelopes i need to change this up so i've got three binders i've got one that i use all the time sort of my short term if you like the one that i dip in and out of every single week sometimes every day so these are my fluid envelopes the ones that i use all the time so things like um gifts i've got in here time for me so that's my social envelope groceries and petrol and school so anything the children need for school so that's this one. So ultimately, really, I'm not going to be switching this up for any of my placeholders today. Now, this extra bit of cash down here that you can see, because last week, and if you haven't already seen it, I did my end of my month check in for my debts and my savings. And I realised I had hit one of my uh, targets, which was a thousand pound for my envelope, my emergency envelope, sorry. So what I'm going to do is, this is the excess, this was the bit that was left over. So I'm going to decide today what I'm going to do with that and where it's going to go. Uh, we'll do that at the end because there was quite a bit. Let's have a look, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 160 surplus. So I asked you guys what I should do with it. You had some really good ideas and have decided what I'm going to do with it. So I'm just going to pop that to one side and I'll come back to that very, very shortly. Now, my next binder, which is kind of like my long-term goals, I guess. Some medium, some long-term. Um, these have got ones that I don't tend to nip into very often. So I've got my savings for Alexander, savings for Holly. Emergency fund, which I've already said to you, I had a £1,000 target on that one. My education and my debt. Now, currently my debt is M because at the end of every single month I will empty this out to go towards my debt and car repairs as well. I finally got to fix that envelope, yay. So um, if you saw that last video, for some reason you'll know that Alexander's and Holly's envelopes should be even but they're not and I can't actually quite remember how much was in each. So let me just double check these. because that's what I'm going to do with some of the money today. I'm going to make sure that these are equal. So I've got 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300 there. And I've got 150, that's 50 there, isn't it? Yeah, 50, 220, 
310. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 300 placeholder into each and £10 as well. So, um, so from the money that was surplus in my event envelope, that's what you all advised me to do as well. So I thought you'd appreciate that. So I'm just going to put the rest of this one side because this can go into the bank. So what I'm going to do is put a placeholder in there for them. So as you can see, I use these placeholders, which just means that I haven't got loads of money floating around the house. Um, I've still got some of my original Disney designs. These are the ones that I created first of all. And then I moved over to my Bridget Mum styly ones. So some of them are already in, being used. And I've got two of the 300s here. So I'm going to use these. Just grab those. I just painted my nails before I turned the camera on, so I'm like trying, because that was a good idea, trying not to um, catch them. Without success, probably. Probably. So these have got a target, I think it was £500. So once I've hit that emergency, because I was throwing quite a lot of money at the emergency one, it means I can concentrate a bit more on the others. I have, and I'll show you in a second, in my challenge envelope, got like a sort of a mini emergency one as well. So we've got a couple of placeholders in this one. I've got 500, 600, 700 in placeholders. 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900. 1,000 there, so I can switch that up for a £1,000 placeholder and the rest can go back into the bank. That's that one. Um, education, I don't really think this. I might be able to put a 50 placeholder in this, let's see. Yeah, I can do. Uh, might as well throw that one in. That's there. So I've got 80 in there. I'm waiting to hear back off the university that I've applied to to see if I've got into it. Deck, as I said, is empty. Car repairs. I can't remember which is in this one. Um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So I can put a hundred placeholder in there and a 20 pound note so that's quite a good start for me just means that the bind is a bit lighter i've not got loads of cash on premises they can get a tiny bit of interest while it's in the regular bank and yeah everyone knows where everything's up to so that's really really good Okay, so my final binder I'm going to have a look at is my Savings Challenges binder. Now, um, I've got a couple of these ones I want to show you as well. So these ones I got off Paris V. These were downloadables. I got the six, Sweet 16 for Holy 16th. Planned on taking it to New York. And I thought I would save towards my niece's Lysa when she turns 18 in July. So that's those two. I need to shrink them down because I haven't realised they were in A4 when I printed them. So I'll shrink them down to A6 and make them fit into the binder. So that's okay. But I've got the wallets ready for them to go. So that's what that one's going to look like. Now, I call it my emergency fund. It's like a secondary rainy day fund. So I'm going to set this one up as well. Um, I'm not sure yet what goal I'm going to give myself. Maybe I might make these £10 each or something like that, which would give me 50, 100, 150, 200, £250, which is all right, like a little bit of a contingency for my emergency. I have given myself a clothing one, but at the moment, I don't know, I just, um, I don't spend a lot on clothes. I don't really um, go through clothes quite a lot. And if you're interested in to see how I do my laundry, which sounds really mundane, but I've got a really good system set up now with how you can care for your clothes so that they, they last longer regardless of age and things like that, materials, because I've got a two-year-old and a 14-year-old, both make very different messes. 
along with myself. So if you think you'd be interested in seeing that, well, let me know in the comments section. Uh, my 40th, so I've given myself a birthday fund a challenge here because I'm thinking about throwing a 40th birthday party in the summer. And again, set my own goal and decide how much each of these is worth. And if they're worth 10, again, that'd be another £250. I might make them 20 to put £500. I haven't decided. Because, like, I could use that not just for throwing the party, like food and things, but I could maybe buy myself an outfit, perhaps, or whatever. Put that on. So that's Holly's 16th birthday, which I've already shown you. My house deposit one. So this one's got a few more on here. So this has actually got 30 houses. Somebody asked me to put 30 on it. I don't know if you can see that there. 30 on it. Um, again, so you can decide. So if you want to save £5,000 or £10,000 towards your house deposit, then each of those will be uh, on there. I've got a new computer one. Um, I did this the other day when I did my original video. It said the computer I wanted to do about £1,000 and... I was just demonstrating that, <laughs> that I could put 40 in it because I've actually already got 40 saved in it. I've actually got, oh, dropping out. I've actually got a little bit more than 40 in there at the moment, so I'll um, accrue that. So I'm already at £40 towards it. Now, these are a couple of other challenges that I got from Simply Budgets and Budget With Us UK. I got a 1 to 24 challenge from Simple Budgets. And this is going to save £300. I just, I've got, well, this is what I fell out. Um, a puzzle challenge envelope that I'm going to save the cash in for that as well. And the one I got from Budget With Us is a £2 coin drop and it came with an envelope as well. So I can put all my £2 coins in that. I'm thinking rather than keep putting it all into my uh, coin jar. At the moment I've got my gold and like shrapnel jars. So I was thinking about switching those up anyway. So that's what I think I'm going to be doing going forward with those. So what to do with the rest of the money? Now I've evened up those two envelopes. I've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 130, 150. So what I'm actually going to do is I've got the passes from mailing passes for Alden Towers. And we very rarely do very much any way, like in terms of going away. But because I've got the mailing passes, I can get discounts on certain things. So it means I get free into Alton Dose. So I thought about say, staying over in Alton, and, uh, not this weekend, either this weekend or the next weekend. I'm going to see what the best prices are. I thought it might be cheaper to stay out on Easter Sunday, to be honest, because I thought, well, everyone's going to be at home. So that, I think, is what I'm going to spend on. So I'm going to price up how much that is. That's what it's going to go towards. And if I put that into my... Sort of social envelope for now. Time with me because really that's what it is, isn't it? I've got some money in there anyway at the moment. Um, yeah, and then I'll whatever I've got left over, I'll either keep it in there and just not top this up for a while, or I might redistribute it once I find out how much that hotel is, and that is my plans. Uh, I hope you found this useful. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you really, really soon. Bye.